Hey guys, so I'm going to be reviewing the I Just Can't Get Enough workout. One of you um, volunteered to post your power file into the forum so that I could review it and provide some feedback. So the workout that we're going to be looking at is the I Just Can't Get Enough, like I said. Sounds like a music I've heard before. Um, anyway, so <laughs> this workout is really focusing on climbing. And um, we do a simulation of short hills over and over and over, so hill repeats. Um, it's good, of course, for short hills, but also for developing muscular strength. It's good for even long climbs, just getting uh, your legs used to that sort of effort. And so um, we have here these intervals that are three minutes long each, and we do um, two by, so it's four by three minutes uh, twice. So these are eight intervals total. The total work here is going to be done at near or above threshold for 24 total minutes of work in those zones. And as you can see here, uh, the intervals are each, like I said, three minutes long, two minutes at 95% of FTP. The last minute here is one minute at 115% standing. So not only uh, you did four, 24 minutes of work in uh, near the threshold um, zone uh, for your work here, but you also did eight minutes standing, which adds up, of course, to the load here, and it makes it even more challenging. The block you see here in the middle is a, a high cadence block, 10 minutes at 100 RPMs, throwing that out there as a way to uh, work on your cadence, but also to loosen up the legs a little bit between those hard efforts, which are low cadence for the hill repeats, and that way balance things out, but also working on your efficiency. All right, so let's look at the file here from Training Peaks from one of our athletes. I'm gonna make this picture a little bigger. And um, so what we're looking at here is the pink lines that you see are uh, is showing the power and the yellow line is showing the cadence the red line is showing heart rate i'm not going to be focusing on heart rate because this is a very individual number it's an output um, it's a reaction if you will to the workout so it really is not relevant for us right now so Looking at those intervals, like I said, we have these two sets of um, three minutes each, starting, seated, low cadence, 95% of FTP, and then you have to stand for a full minute. And this athlete here did a fantastic job in the transition between seated and standing. As you look at the power line here, seated, 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 standing, there's no drops in power. That means she was able to really change her gears um, before standing, which is ideal. Uh, so you can control that effort without dropping your power before you transition from seated to standing. Now, so you see um, it looks really, really good throughout, right? It looks like it was a hard workout for her, but still she was able to complete all the intervals. Um, and then you see this is not in erg mode. We don't usually do workouts in erg mode. There's a little bit of a spike here standing up on the one minute, but it's just once. And really, this looks fantastic. Um, so I'm looking at the power line, right, at this point. Then on the second set of intervals, you can tell she was getting a little bit tired. And the way you can tell is by how the power changes. Not in this very first one, the second one also looks really good. By that third one, you can see the power kind of tracing down a little bit, and the one minute standing has a little more variation. I don't have access to the original file, so I can zoom in to show even more details, but I can tell here that there was some more struggling going on at the end. This is a good sign, right? You want the workout to be challenging enough so that by the end your legs are fatigued and you're doing some of the work on tired legs because that's where growth happens, and that's also um, the purpose of doing these repetitions. And then for the last one, you can see there's also a lot more variation in the power here, and that one minute standing even looks like it's a little shorter than one minute. And um, yeah, so 
definitely um, met the targets for the workout here. It looks really, really good. And the other thing is I'm not looking at the power to be perfect at the target, right? It can be a little bit above, it can be a little bit below. But what I'm looking is um, for control, I'm looking for transitions, which we have here. Look at cadence now, the yellow line. So the cadence prescribed for this workout for these intervals is between 50 and 70 RPM. So low cadence, simulating that climb seated. As you stand, you're supposed to do 70 RPMs or a little more. That's very hard, right? Because not only you have to hold yourself standing uh, in good form, you have to pedal faster than you were when you were seated. It's something that really takes a lot of training. We work quite a bit on that um, with our workouts. And I see here that in that first interval, she sort of went up a little bit more on the cadence on the standing piece, but um, just towards the end. Then the second interval, she was also going up with that cadence, but she was able to do it maybe for 80% of that one minute. So, you know, maybe around 40 seconds of the, of the full minute. And then for the other ones, she was probably getting tired and it was getting harder and harder to do that high cadence standing, 70 RPMs. So I see here that the cadence was lower and it was around 65, I want to say. And you can tell, right? You can tell the, the yellow line is right here for the seated and then it drops for the standing when it should have been the opposite. But again, it's just very challenging. It's something that we're working on. Here we go after taking that break in the middle going back the power the cadence goes up again here right um, so that looks good going towards the 70 rpms here and then it drops <laughs> because we're getting tired so yeah overall it looks excellent um, one other thing i wanted to point out is as you look at these numbers here the statistics for the workout you're gonna see that let me see if i can make it bigger then the, the IF, which is the intensity factor for this workout, shows as only 0.8, which is the equivalent of 80% of FTP. And then you look at the, um, uh, where's the other number I'm looking for? IF, is it the intensity factor? Uh, where's my TSS? Why can't I see TSS? Oh, here, TSS, 67, which if you look at a TSS of 67, you might say, oh, this was the equivalent of an endurance ride. But this is where, like I said in my other video explaining what the numbers mean in Training Peaks, this is where Training Peaks software is not able to capture the effort, the complete effort. Why? Because it's only taking into account power and duration. It's not taking into account the fact that you have to stand for eight minutes for this workout. The fact, and the combination of zones, the fact that you have to do sweet spot and stand above threshold, right one next, one after the other, and do that several times for a total of 24 minutes is very tiring. So even though you're looking at a TSS of 67 and an IF of 80, your effort was harder than that, and your legs would feel more tired than what these numbers are saying. So yeah, thank you for sending this. Fantastic job.